Hi everybody, welcome to my short video. Today I'm just gonna talk about how you hide lines if you get like a 3D models and uh, want to use it for Revit. So most often uh, when you get objects from online, this is the this is the result you're going to get. It's very messy. You go into a chair. Yeah, you're not gonna use it uh, for, for Revit. So how do you resolve this issue? So what you need is that you need a tool uh, from 3D Studio Max. So the first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna go import. Okay, I'm just gonna use this. Uh, you can use DWG, this one has 3DS. Uh, I'm just gonna use this 3DS. And it's gonna say merge, yes, to say okay. Yes, all right. So in this chair, you notice that there's a lot of meshes. So the first thing I want to do before you attempt doing this uh, is you select, you select all the model, okay? You highlight that. You click on this, this little button here, okay? Modify list. The first thing you would do is you will go to what's called the Pro Optimizer, okay? What this does is that it will take this mesh and kind of reduces the mesh down. Uh, so what we're gonna do is that it's just gonna hit calculate. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to do is that you're just going to reduce it. Let's say I'm going to go 15%. Okay. So you notice that right now your mesh looks like it's going to basically deteriorate. So what you're going to do, and you just have to click this like merge faces. You notice that right now it's doing a good thing. And click on the preserve vertices. All right, so once you like that, you can just keep crunching, crunching the value. And right now I'm just gonna just keep calculating, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna go down to like really, really tiny. Let's say I'm gonna go five, okay? So what this does is that it's basically taking whatever form you have in Pre Studio Max and trying to make the mesh a little bit light so that you can actually use uh, inside Revit. Uh, the next thing you would do, so once you like this result, the next thing I'm going to do is add the edit mesh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I just go click on the edit mesh. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to click on this button right here, edge. Okay, uh, first highlight, select all of this, okay, for selected. And you notice that there's an invisible. Click on the invisible button, okay. Right now it looks like it's uh, just a bunch of hidden lines. Once you're satisfied with that, the next thing you do is that you kind of have to go to export. Okay, so in this export, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to use the DXF, or you can use DWG, doesn't matter. Uh, but what I find is that this is like 99% DXF works. So I'm just going to place it in here. Um, I'm just going to go export chair. Okay. It's going to ask you what version. I noticed that there's a certain version you could use. Uh, if you use 2010, this will not work. So I use 20, 2007 and 2004. It works well. So let's say I'm going to use the 2007 DXF. Okay. Once you're done, you notice that right now it's just basic 